Hey fellow creatives, welcome back to the channel. I am Amanda. As an aspiring cinematographer, my journey has been a tapestry of thoughts, emotions, aspiration, self-doubt and boundaries, and most importantly, putting in the work. Over the years since I joined the visual world of filmmaking, I've learned so much due to the failure I had to experience and the different times I've had to challenge myself by being in uncomfortable situations. Studying and taking trainings, I realized how important it is not to settle if you're an aspiring DP or cinematographer. I feel like this year for me has been a lot more progressive. It's been more strides forward, few steps backward. My constant need and hunger towards learning and growth gave me wings. I'm not flying yet, because I still feel like I'm in the same spot, but with a different mindset and with more ambition. I've worked as a camera technician, camera operator, and steady cam on various projects. And this year I told myself I was going to break out and start creating visuals to help ease in my journey of becoming a full-time DP and cinematographer. But obviously, that's easier said than done. But the difference that decision made was me realizing there's so much I don't know yet. And also how I haven't put to use the knowledge I've acquired so far. This journey didn't start from me being in the camera department. It's been a transition with the unsurety of my career path, but I always aimed at being the best in whatever I find myself doing. I've ever only cared about being inclusive and making every opportunity I get be a bang. Having been under the wing of one of the very best, a director, a cinematographer and colorist, Daniel Aime, and also freelancing with great DPs and cinematographers in the industry here in Nigeria, it's really liberating to see that there is no glass ceiling in the filmmaking world that is unachievable except the ones you create for yourself and this isn't gender based either. The filmmaking world is limitless and more inclusive, no excuses given. So much of my time in the past was me procrastinating on things I could have done, projects I could have initiated, but there I was waiting for the directors and DPs in the industry here in Nigeria to hit me up for work. But in reality, these creatives do not even know me or what I'm capable of doing or the vastness of my skills. I could have used my downtime period wisely by creating work for myself, especially as an aspiring cinematographer, because that's how other people and DPs and cinematographers of the world are going to notice me and the skills I've got and would want to work with me on projects or even collaborate. In the creative space, a lot of people tend to call themselves titles they can't defend when the realism of it encompasses a lot of work and devotion. Becoming a qualified DP or cinematographer requires a deep understanding of various technical and creative aspects of filmmaking, being proficient in operating various camera gears, understanding camera sensors, understanding lenses and its effect on perspective and aesthetics, understanding camera movements, mastering of short sizes, angles and framing techniques, to convey emotions and storytelling. You have to understand lighting techniques in various lighting setup, color theory and grading, making sure you have an understanding of color temperature, color harmonies, and the emotional impact of colors. You have to get the dynamic of camera movement and stabilization, the ability to choose appropriate camera movement techniques, storytelling, and how to translate them into visual sequences, involvement in pre and post visualization, which we call pre-production and post-production. My next point is more vital than it sounds, and that's the ability to translate the director's vision into visual elements, which goes beyond the groundwork, and also being able to communicate effectively and collaborate with directors, production designers, gaffers, and the whole chain of crew members. Every professional DP or cinematographer acknowledges that the learning curve is endless on camera technologies, lighting equipment, and visual trend. You just have to pull yourself out there by attending seminars, film festivals, splurging on masterclasses and magazines, and just staying in tune with being a better DP and cinematographer. Now you can agree with me, it is a huge growth margin. I've hit roadblock a couple of times in this process, letting me know I was my own obstacle from procrastinating to being too way up in my head, being too focused on things I couldn't control or do, while neglecting the things I had control over and how I haven't been maximizing the abilities I already had locked down. Being well read with constant practices, physical trainings, unlimited access to video materials, magazines, training, and with the advantage of YouTube school. YouTube has been the well most creatives draw their, their wealth of knowledge from. 
leave a thumbs up if you're a proud user of YouTube for learning purposes. <laughs> Being intentional about our personal goals seldom helps us stare the difficult task in our face heads on. As we try as hard as possible to have it done, you need to understand that the willingness is a truth that only you can generate. Embrace your uncertainties because that's when new happens. The more you embrace the thought of learning, your full potential will be revealed. I get told this very often as an aspiring filmmaker and DP and a cinematographer. You need to consume a lot of information so you know what's happening out there from new gears to usage to new styles to keep your skills from being dominated by others in the field who are putting in the work so you don't get backseated on all the fun and experiences in the field. You should be consuming with the idea behind it which is to actually take notes showing where you are creatively and what needs to be worked on. Profession is just one of the important choices we make in defining what we want out of the many life choices. And choosing to go on the path of becoming a DP and cinematographer takes full devotion, commitment, and making tough choices. Nothing in the world is worth having or worth doing unless it means effort, pain, and difficulty. And that's by Theodore. Here is my rule of thumb. I don't have it all figured out, nor do I understand the full scope of being a cinematographer and DP. But I won't quit trying, I won't give up on learning, which is one of the hardest decisions to be committed to doing in life. I'm sure you've enjoyed this video and found it inspiring. Please give us a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and don't forget to ring, to ring the notification bell. So stay updated with our upcoming content. Until next time, improvise, adapt, and overcome. I'll see you soon. Thank you.